Okay, so since you found this video, you may already know about aquaponics, and I know your guys' attention spans are tiny now, so I just want to fly through this for people that don't necessarily know what aquaponics is, don't know who I am. I'm Dylan Martin. Um, this was a project for a, a community change in a global era class at the University of New Mexico. Um, I'm currently in Santa Fe, and I'm just going to go through this. Um, I think aquaponics is inspiration for food, nature, and design, plain and simple. Um, aquaponics is aquaculture and hydroponics, so it's recirculating aquaculture systems mix with, mixed with hydroponic systems or soilless farming. Um, and this is nothing new. I mean, China did this a long time ago with rice patties and carp and ducks, and Mexico did this a long time ago with chinampas or floating arable islands and, and uh, fish. Um, and really, all of that together in a closed loop system with bacteria um, create aquaponics. Um, so localism, I mean, we wanted to focus on localism in this class. And the big thing I'm excited about is the Santa Fe Community College. I mean, they are teaching people how to do this. They're teaching people all the trades that go along with it. Um, and I think it, aquaponics I discovered like 10 years ago, it's just had me thinking like critically about our food systems, our natural systems and how we're designing our human built systems. Um, and so, yeah, I wanted to focus on something positive from Santa Fe um, and because there's like a ton of issues out there that we're trying to solve. And I just think that this is, this is a great thing that's happening. And I think that um, it should be on a global level. I think that more communities should be doing this. We should be investing in this. Um, I think there's huge implications for agriculture, uh, for working with natural systems. I'm a landscape architecture major right now. So I'm really interested in using this fish waste for planted landscapes and um, you know how we can expand on that. Uh, and yeah, it is scalable as long as you have the right infrastructure. Um, using a lot less water, you get that liquid organic fertilizer, um, you're producing food for consumption, both fish and plants. Uh, really, your only major input is fish food, so you want that to be quality, obviously, and I know people have um, reared insects for this, and there's, there are really good um, fish food sources out there, like Optimal Fish Food or something like that. Um, the, uh, the USDA and the Food and Agriculture Organization did pass a bill that soilless agriculture can be certified organic. Um, we're gonna see where that goes. <laughs> there was a big back and forth between soil farmers and soilless farmers. I mean, you know, you're not building soil, you know, we don't need soil, but aquaponics is using soil in some applications now. So I, either way, I think we should just be working together. Um, and I do think it's an incredible vehicle for education. I mean, when I was working for Spark Youth in Minneapolis, that was, teaching kids about growing in general and waste as a resource is like such a great way to talk about sustainability and have kids learn and be hands-on. And um, I mean, I loved it when I was in college and I still love it. So um, yeah, it's a great vehicle. The aquaponics is a great vehicle for many disciplines. Um, the not so great, obviously it's super energy intensive. Um, so renewable energies is a big thing. Um, high initial investment, there's a lot of money that goes into it, farming in general, but um, giving people access to this money is something we need to think about. Um, the long-term use of plastic is debatable. I know people are like upset about plastic, um, but really there's like not much better. I mean, bioplastics are on their way, but like, you know, we are using PVC. If you bury it, it can last a long time. There's a lot of plastic that goes into greenhouse infrastructure, um, but there's not a whole lot of like single use plastics. Um, anyways, We'll see where that goes. Um, we're adding iron, calcium carbonate, potassium carbonate. These are synthesized nutrient salts. I don't know if they're organic or not, or they can be. Um, I haven't heard a whole lot of complaints about this, but water chemistry and plant nutrition is a big thing. So we are adding those. Um, you need a license for aquaculture here in Santa Fe and other places. And I know um, tilapia, which is a, a, a big choice for aqu aquaponics. Uh, can be illegal in certain states. Um, so you want to make sure that you look that up first. Um, and people forget that farming is a ton of work. So remember that. Um, you can learn more at the Santa Fe Community College, obviously, the University of the Virgin Islands, um, Lethbridge College in Alberta, Canada. Um, yeah, I mean, I do want to thank Charlie Schultz and uh, Pedro Casas Cordero, uh, the lead faculty and, and lead greenhouse manager at Santa Fe Community College for teaching me while I was there. Um, and, and, and just being really great people and allowing me to kind of show up and um, take photos and ask questions and all this stuff. So um, yeah, thank you guys. Um, and thank you to everyone else at Santa Fe Community College. I mean, that place is great. Um, and here's just some resources that I got from the university uh, libraries at UNM on some of the things that I talked about.
Um, and that greenhouse in the back is actually the new one at uh, SFCC. Well, not super new, but pretty new. And it's pretty awesome. It's like 12,000 square feet. So um, if, you had, if you have a chance to check it out, check it out. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm going to show you some footage but, uh, from a new farm, an aquaponic farm in Santa Fe, and from the com uh, community college. So check it out. Okay, so we're at a secret place in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, I'm about to visit Desert Verde Farm, which is the first indoor aquaponic farm in Santa Fe. So I'm pretty jacked. Let's see what we got. Hello, my name is Andrew Neighbor. We are at Desert Verde Farm here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. We are New Mexico's first commercial indoor aquaponics farm. We started uh, our build uh, a little over a year ago, and we've been selling product here um, since the end of last year, 2021. stage of my life is to uh, meet a few objectives that perhaps are not typical of, a, of an of a usual entrepreneurial activity. I don't have to build a career at this. I don't have to build a lot of money uh, or generate a lot of money. Um, but what I am committed to is uh, helping our community. The other two parts of our mission are to provide workforce training for people who are studying at our community college um, to become professionals in the business of soilless agriculture. Santa Fe Community College has a significant program in controlled environment agriculture and is training people in the fields of aquaponics and hydroponics. And those students, when they graduate, need jobs, places to work. Oftentimes, they want to stay locally. And so by building this industry here in, in New Mexico, we can offer them workforce opportunities um, to take what they've learned and uh, benefit from it. So we take on a lot of students, uh, mentoring them as interns, so that they get real hands-on experience of practicing the arts of aquaponics and hydroponics in a real-world environment. And the third part of the mission is really to just simply show the community how this can be done. You can take what we have learned in putting this system together and duplicate it throughout the state, turning unused warehouses uh, into spaces that can effectively and productively grow fresh food. specific people in uh, disadvantaged uh, communities, to schools, and to a few restaurants. Uh, so we think that uh, our mission at Desert Valley Farm is one that can be a, um, an 
inspiration to others who can duplicate it. So yeah, special thank you to Andrew Neighbor for um, talking with us and letting us see Desert Verde Farm. And next up is Santa Fe Community College. All right, I just got to Santa Fe Community College. I'm going to uh, hopefully show you around the greenhouses and yeah, show you some of the systems. Thank you. 